Concrete Book, or the Baden Book, is one of a series of 100 artistic books museums would consider it an object. Collectors would collect it as an artistic piece. We consider it a book at the library. It was made in 1971 by Wolf Bostel. It pushes the boundaries of what a book is, most certainly what art is. Inside the concrete book, we hope to find a, another book about concrete sculptures. They have a copy at the Regenstein Library and Special Collections, and it outlines different realized and unrealized projects they had. So we hope to find this 20-page sketch, sketch booklet inside. The concrete book, book has been assigned to one of my students as a final uh, project, a research project. All students are engaged in meaningful discussions about and around objects. They question how we can reveal this information, how the invisible can become visible. So we're doing mostly x-ray diffraction. So this is a form of using x-rays that is different than what you might encounter with medical x-rays. With x-ray diffraction, we're able to look at the atomic ordering of the materials within the sample. So in this case, there's a booklet, so that's maybe made with cellulose and things like a wood product. And those can have diffraction signals. It's organic materials, but the concrete itself is inorganic. And that's gonna have a whole another set of peaks from the diffraction, so a different signature that we would see in X-ray diffraction. Also, we're using X-ray radiography. So this allows us, much like a dental X-ray or a metal imaging, to sort of look through it and so the things that are highly absorbing I definitely hope that we find all 20 pages of the sketchbook inside. For me, that's really interesting that, and ironic, a book inside of a book. I'm hoping to find nothing inside. We all learn how to question the question. So even if it becomes visible, what does it mean? What does it mean from an art historical perspective? And what's the meaning from a scientific perspective? Typical people come to the APS to do measurements on engineering materials or new batteries, but in this case it's it's an artwork. It makes it a little more interesting because the problem is more is the booklet there versus is this better than something else. So it's, it's not really quantifying, it's more of a maybe a binary answer of whether it's there or it's not there.